do you see the venture capital industry and the startup scene in Egypt? Well, I think the startup scene in Egypt is growing at a tremendously fast rate, faster than I thought it would grow uh, about four or five years ago. But we're nowhere near where we will be in a decade. I think we are now at a point in the economic development in Egypt and across the world where it's probably the biggest macroeconomic uh, shift that Egypt will see since the movement from a planned economy to, uh, to a free markets in the 70s. And this is driven by the digitization of our GDP. Everything from transport to medicine to banking all to agriculture, all our core industries will be digitized in one form or another, creating the largest opportunity and the largest investment opportunity we will, we, we will see in our lifetime. I want to refer to the Magnet recent report about the venture capital industry in the MENA region, where we had uh, like 354 transactions, totaling uh, almost uh, half a billion US dollars. And Egypt, you know, topped the list with 27% uh, yes. around 100 uh, transactions. I'm aware, of, I'm, the, I'm aware of the report and it's a reflection of the opportunity at hand. These numbers, again, were not imaginable four or five years ago, but they are probably one-tenth to one-twentieth where they will be in, in the next generation because the opportunity is so huge. The transformation, the digital transformation of Egypt and the Arab economies will be led by new types of companies which will ultimately be financed by venture capital type and risk type capital. That is a state of fact. So we are now at the beginnings of the hyper growth of the venture capital industry in the region. And we will look back at these days and say, this is where it all came together to take shape. But then we're moving from a situation where it's near impossible to raise capital to a situation where the best companies are raising capital and that is the position you want to be in. But raising money, whether it's for us as VC fund managers or for the companies themselves, is always going to be an integral pain point of, uh, of the industry. So you are not surprised by the numbers? From the long-term perspective, no, I'm not surprised. From the fact that if uh, they are what they are today, uh, if you'd asked me five years ago, would they be this, I am surprised. I'm pleasantly surprised in that they reach this level within a short amount of time, but I expect much, much more over the, over the next 10, 15 years. And exit is still uh, an issue? I think exits all across the world are define the health of an ecosystem, and they're always an issue uh, all over the world. They're much less of an issue now than they, than they were before, and now they are not a detriment for the companies to be able to raise capital or for funds like us to demonstrate that you can have a track record. They're getting better, they're getting better at the right time, and uh, they're no longer a problem. But again, it's like fundraising. They will always, be, it's an integral part of the, uh, of the business. Trying to find an exit will always be uh, an issue, but right now, it is not sufficiently difficult for us to make our job impossible. How many companies in your portfolio are on the exit move now? Oh, we just started our new fund, uh, just under, yeah, so our ventures, uh, North Africa, just under a year ago, so we're still in investment mode. We are uh, Flasix Labs, which started investing uh, in Egypt uh, in its existing fund with, uh, uh, two years ago, just had its first exit where by selling uh, Harmonica to Match.com. So exits do happen. Uh, they happen from the largest companies in the world to, to Egyptian companies who have who have created value in a way that the larger companies couldn't. But how, how many companies do you have in your portfolio as uh, Flatsix Labs? Uh, Flatsix Labs currently in Egypt has invested in about uh, 33 companies over the last uh, 18 months. We're graduating a new, uh, a new uh, 11 more companies in December. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that will take us to 40 by the end of the year, 40 something by the end of the year. Uh, they've more than 40% of them have gone to raise follow-on funding, mm -hmm. so they're on their way to grow. And we've had one exit in less than two years, which is a phenomenal track record. Yeah. And the focus of this uh, fund would be to invest in North African countries? 
the focus of this fund would be to invest in Egypt and North Africa. And in which sectors? Well, we, we define the sectors we invest in are knowledge-driven and knowledge-based uh, companies. Uh, and within that, uh, we're looking to invest in things that are in core technologies, in, in the fintech space, in technology for education and healthcare, uh, uh, communications, infrastructure. Uh, th these are the, the main subsectors that we see that, that we envisage investing in in the next uh, two years or so.